Hey guys, so, um, I kind of want to talk to you right now because I kind of update on some stuff. Today I was planning to watch a music video and after this I'll probably record it and hopefully watch it but I don't know because it's getting kind of close to dance. And at this point, I almost thought, like, at this point, it's kind of a hard decision because of different things. Like, for me, I love dance, and the dancing is something that I love so much. And that when I'm not dancing, it's really hard, but it's also hard because of my foot. Because it's not like my foot doesn't make it that much challenging like I can definitely tell that it's there but like it doesn't hurt or anything really and what happened well I think this hopefully won't happen again I think my feet will hopefully adjust to point shoes and stuff Because that's like really big and important. And to me like. But right now like it definitely you can tell that it's there. Like I can tell that it's there. But tonight I am going to log on. I probably won't do acro. Only for the reasoning of. I mean that. Uh, for two reasons. First up, I love the acro class. It's a great acro class, but there are some tips that I get corrected on doing wrong that actually don't work for me, and that makes sense. Like putting, like one, there was only one that had not worked for me. For me, I was only showing you one finger, not putting my middle finger up, like, I feel like I get cautious of that on camera, but, um, which was that at every time I kick up into, like, a handstand or an elbow stand or something, um, I do it one, I push up with one foot and then bring the other one up, because that what works for me, that works for me better, and also Abby taught me to do that, and that's really good, versus in the sacro class. You're like, no, you got to um, put both feet together and kick up, like, with both feet together instead of one leg up and then having the other one kick that first leg up. So, like, there are, like, other than that, I really enjoy the action, but it's also I get tired really fast from it because as everyone else is, like, doing multiple things, they're doing, like, cartwheels and flips and stuff. Um, um, I'm not, I'm just trying to kick up into handstand and working on back bends, which kind of, when you're doing the same thing for like 30-ish minutes, it gets kind of tiring and stuff really fast and it takes a lot of energy, energy, and so the rest of the class, I feel like, I'm not fully there. I feel like I'm, I'm like half there, half not. I'm tired and like zoned out almost. So I try not to do the acro class too much. I do, what I do is I do it for a little bit and then I'll like turn my camera off and I start getting really tired. That way I don't zone out on the rest. I am going to attempt to do conditioning today. We'll see. I don't know. I hate conditioning really bad. Even though, like, it's good for my diet. But, like, the reason I hate it is because um, one of the things hurts my shoulder. Like, to the point where my shoulders are sore for, like, two days straight. I'm not joking. And the last time I did it, my shoulders were sore until Saturday. Or day. Like, late Saturday, so that wasn't good. And the rest of it, I feel like, I, or 
we always do one that goes along, like up and down and stuff. And that, uh, I tried, at first I went like, oh, maybe if I try going at a slower pace, it won't tire me out as much. But I feel like I get so tired to the point where I feel like I could literally fall over if I keep going. And then I have to turn my camera off and like stop and take a break, you know. Which at first I was worried about them questioning like I me mean, turning my camera off, but um they actually don't mind. I just kind of put in the chat like, cool, I'm doing it, you know, like, and yeah. But I really like Thursdays because Thursdays we have a nice warm up, which is always good, and like it's always good for the body, a nice warm up, and also. Um, we do have combo, which I love combo, because I'm learning an entire dance routine. And so that's always fun. Um, but I am going to hopefully continue doing this, because I think if I beg my parents enough, I think it will happen. But I'm not going to do that until, like, for another, like, two months. We still have, like, two more months of this. And that's awesome. Mm. But for me, like, I feel like I, I get bad on my toes. And right now, like, I kind of don't need that and. I do have another acro class on Friday, and I have Gianna Martellos on Friday, and I don't know how long that's going to be, but I'm just excited and looking forward to it. I do like that now, um, it automatically starts the Zoom meeting, which is something that I like. So, like, literally, I just log in, log in with my camera on or off, and then, like, I wait and I know that I'm actually in the Zoom meeting. And that lets me know that there is a Zoom meeting that day. Versus before, it would say, please wait for host to start meeting. And then, like, which was uh, not the best. Because when I, on Fridays, I never did the Friday with Gianna Martello. Because I didn't know what time, I didn't know... And, like, much about it, I found out through Instagram. And, like, so at this point, because I didn't know the timing. And, and there, I literally waited until, like, after 7 one time. I'm at the time that was like a few hours. So, yeah, at this point. I don't know, and I feel like it's annoying for my mom because something that she said her big issue about this is that I'm not showing her, but it's really hard to show her when I'm constantly tired. Like, and that on the, I dance four days a week, in Monday, Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. Three of them, I don't get a day off in between. One of them, I do which I very much enjoy, or I enjoy that day off, because I like my days off, but I also don't, I, all I want to do is dance, but the days off are nice, because I can actually kind of relax, and not worry about, like, oh, I have dance class at this time, I'm, um, actually this Monday, I'm pretty sure, i sure, um, there is a family thing, with my brother that we were going to do, but we're probably not, we're actually not going to do it. And 
you're like nothing up against him. Like, we totally love my family, you know, and my brother. But it's that kind of three or four reason. First up, I have danced that day, and that kind of at the timing of this thing, so I kind of can't do that dance. Will always come before family stuff for me. Like, no, it depends on what the family stuff is. I feel if it's fun family stuff, then dance is coming before, obviously, because dance is my future. Versus if it's something that's like emergency like stuff, then family comes first, obviously. But the second reasoning is because there's no way my mom can sit in her wheelchair for like over an hour and that would mean she would have to stay here. And I can't be in dance on Zoom, like I can't be on Zoom dancing and keeping an eye on my mom, you know, like, and helping my mom. So that's kind of another thing or thing and just kind of it all kind of comes back to dance. Yeah, like, I thought we do love my brother a lot, you know, like, it's just that dance is very important and I feel like at this time it's really hard for me because there is, like, I don't know anything else. I don't know. Like, I I used to have a life without dance. And I never want to go back to that life. That life was horrible because at the time, like, my family and stuff made it enjoyable. But, like, there were so many when when that life was existing. It wasn't as exciting, but also... In the sense that, um, there was a lot of times where I wasn't who I am now. I feel like, at the time, I was very much the person that I did whatever my parents told me to do. Never argue back, never talk back. Uh, and even now, I don't do that too much. But sometimes, if my mom tells me to do something and I really don't want to do it, or if I get upset about something... And I actually, like, talk to her. I explain my side to her because that was something very Because there were so many times when we would just do things that my mom went. Uh, and I kind of didn't want to do them. And she just thought I enjoyed doing them. And now I'm like, she's like, well, I never want you to do something that you don't want to do too much. I am kind of annoyed right now because basically at this point my mom is wanting me to fail at school. Now, here's why. She basically wants me to do like an online program thing and that doesn't like in the sense that like I, I'm, it's not going to work for me. I always have learned this one way, and my mom doesn't like that I learn this way, but it's the only way I learn, which is that I'm the type that you have to sit down with me. You have to show me on an entire page, like a new type of math. You have to show me an entire page, and sometimes, and then you, you, then you talk me through it, and then so on and so on, like, I, I don't learn by, like, instructions like that. I, I never have when it comes to, like, school. I always been like, you show me and explain it to me 
on an entire page. Then he showed me and that point to me on another page. Then you let me try to figure out one or two. And then you talk me through it. That's how I learn. And then eventually I'll get get to where you don't need to talk me through or show me. I just kind of know. Yeah, that situation. And so, at this point, also, my mom's like, well, oh, if you do this, you probably, there's chances where you won't dance. And I'm like, and you, no, I straight up told her, I'm like, if you take away dance from me, I will never talk to you ever again. That's my thing, and she's like, okay, fine, you won't take away dance, and I'm like, good. Because that's true. Dance is my life. I don't have friends, or a lot of them, like, most of my friends, I don't get to see. You know, I live a life where now, like, I, the only thing that really ever gets me, like, keeps me, like, happy and, like, going is my dog Sam, the few friends I do have, and then that I get to see, and dance, and YouTube and TikTok, and doing social media, like, I feel like when I'm not dancing, I'm not me, I'm zoned out, and it's almost like I lose most of myself, and that's not good. So, at this point, um, me and my dad are pushing to keep going with just homeschool like we have been with my dad being my teacher, because my dad understands me. He knows, he understands how to teach me something in the way that, that teach me something in a way that I understand it and it doesn't come out complicated versus versus other stuff in just like it's different. And so at this point, um that was the thing that like we my dad even said maybe this isn't gonna work. What we have is working, and we do a lot of fun things. Our school, like, it got to where now. Our school isn't as horrible as it. I've always been the type where I hate school. I want nothing to do with school. Only you could pay me $10, and I still will say that I hate school. You know, like, situation. But, versus, uh, with, <laughs> versus, like, you know, it's, but I'm still learning, and now it's like I'm learning, but it's not as horrible, but it still is not that great. I gotta go record a song. <laughs>